Hello everybody, welcome back to Shimigami Tensei 5. This is our first bonus episode. So what I'm doing is I am taking on the d various DLC bosses uh, based on my levels. So uh, we've already out leveled one of them. Well, two of them actually. So we're going to do the, this first one. And So I've done a little bit of research on these bosses. So, uh, just, so I don't know what exactly they do. But uh, I have their levels kind of memorized, so I know which bosses to take on when. So I'm not either pub stomping them or getting absolutely destroyed by them. So we're going to do this first one real quick. But before I go on, I'm just going to show my team real quick. I made quite a bit of changes. I summoned. I grinded a lot. And I basically have a new whole, whole new set of just demons that I made. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go in. Also, um, I didn't have time to do a full episode because right now it's like 2 a.m. where I'm at. So uh, we're just, I just want to get two of these done real quick. Just wanted to make a quick episode so I could at least get, you know, a video out like once per day. So that's going to go out later today. I'll let this cutscene play. So, the light of the menorahs has brought us together. Surely you understand that he who holds it is destined to do battle with us. Hmm, maybe not. It seems you had up until now been blind to this fact. Then please allow me to explain. You may call me Matador, and I request that you grant me an honorable duel. You have taken up the menorah, Nahobino. It is by fate's decree that we cross blades. Should you defeat me, you will then take up my own menorah, and it will guide you to the next fiend. We fiends line your fate, you see. The symbols of death itself are to be defeated one by one. Would you care to know why? Then, let us begin! To the one who draws more blood, more cheers goes the victory! Alright, so this is Matador from Shin Megami Tensei 3. He is one of the many fiends that you fight throughout the game. So his gimmick is that he has incredibly high evasion and uh, accuracy. So I don't remember his weakness off the top of my head, so this is going to make the battle a little bit interesting. Hopefully we don't miss. Oh, okay. Well, we found it. Also, I made uh, Thought because he has this move, Almighty. So well, Almighty in this game, uh, if, for those of you who are new to any of the Shin Megami Tensei series or Persona series, Almighty uh, basically has no, like, resistance against it. So it's super good against most things. There's, there's some enemies, though, that resist only Almighty. Uh, I don't think we should use fire here. So I'm going to switch to a thunder uh, demon real quick. I made one of them. I just don't remember who it was. Okay, yeah, yeah, Lilum. I got super lucky with guessing his weakness right off the right off the bat. And it was Zio again. Very nice. Oh, I didn't realize we had Zyanga. So even though we have a huge level gap above him, we still he's still gonna take a couple hits for, until we beat him. So in SMT3, he's very hard, even on normal difficulty, because you will miss often unless you have, like, Sukukaja, which basically increases our accuracy and decreases his, um, uh, his accuracy and his evasion rate. So also, he's a pretty good fiend to have on your team early on, but I did not know about the DLC until later on. Unfortunate. That is not good. He can still pack a punch. Alright, he's gonna kill Jack Frost. That's fine. Not too worried here. Alright, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna heal, actually, real quick. 
I need to get the miracle that's gonna let my other demons use item. Where is the... There we go. Okay, Jack Frost back. Here. And there are our turns. That was his signature move. So I think the play here is to get you. Uh, well, this is our new healer, Parvati. She's very good. some time to fix stuff real quick so our next best bet is to bring out hold on we're gonna bring out Jatayu Your turn. Go! just because he absorbs force and that's basically what Matador likes to spam we're gonna use this Try this out. Oh, that's basically debilitate, which is really good for us. Uh, so he's gonna absorb that. All right, now we're gonna start reviving people. Back thought. This'll do. See, I thought his name was pronounced thought, but it's not. It's thought. Uh, and we're gonna use this again. Axe of Claw. This fight is definitely like really manageable. This is on hard, yeah, we'd be screwed here. But this should be on normal difficulty, I believe. Uh, two. Wait, actually, let's revive our last party member. Here. Let's keep doing this. Tayu attack again. You know, I'm probably pronouncing this man's name wrong. It sucks that we're weak to force. But luckily he missed, so that's great for us. Uh, anybody here resist force? So I know you absorb it. You know, we could go Eligor. I think we're fine if we make that choice. He's definitely our best physical attacker that we have right now. Yes. This should help us catch up with him a little bit. Uh, let's hit him with a charge. <laughs> Defense down. That's fine. Charge. Okay. Hit him with this. Just in case. Pop this again. 
just so we don't miss. And Eligor is going to hit this. Uh, we want Dark Sword. That's quite a bit of damage. This next attack should kill. All right, cool. That's our first Fiend down. Large Glory Crystal, Luck Bomb, and Aiding Sutra. That went very well. Well done. It would appear my power now rightfully belongs to you. Lest we forget that by defeating us, you will be granted the power of the fiends, the very power of death. One down, many more to go. There are a lot of fiends. Fiend, Matador. Status eliminated. And now we can actually summon for Matador. What in the world was that? Not only did he carry a menorah as well, but he seemed rather intent on fighting us. There we go. So I'm actually going to take a look at him real quick before we uh, go to the next fiend. Well, actually, let me see if the next fiend pops up. I don't think it does until we talk to the, uh, the World of Shadows lady. So let's go talk to her real quick. Aha. Uh -huh. Welcome to the World of Shadows, where demons gather. Oh, yeah, it's a new moon. Uh, I don't know when we unlock the next one. Here, let's see, Matador. Could we need... Oh, we can actually make him. Let's see. Red Capote. Counter, that's very good. I think I might save him, though, before we make him. I need to save money. Return when you... cover real quick all right so now I need to look for the next location for the next fiend I have no idea I'm pretty sure the next fiend is Daisojo I just don't know where he spawns which is the issue um Okay, I'm actually going to be right back. I'm going to find out where he spawns. So, uh, yeah, be right back. Okay, I am back. So, I just found out that the next location we need to go to is where the next story takes place. So, I think I'm probably going to end the episode here. I know it's a bit of a shorter episode, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to showcase that boss fight. And we're going to do more of these in the future, but just whenever I don't have time to, like, record, like, 40-minute videos or whatever. Because um, I usually try to record a batch of four. And then I upload two per day, but I'm only going to upload one for today. So I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, all the usual stuff. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, peace out. But before I go, real quick, uh, I actually have some news that I'm going to share very soon on my Twitter, my Discord, basically everywhere. Um, I think it's something you guys might like, but uh, we'll find out. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go to bed. Peace out.